John's Random Reviews. Hi, welcome back to John's Random Review. I've got a treat. Well, it might not, it's a treat for me, it might not be a treat for you, but I've never actually, never actually seen one of these. What is this strange contraption? Well, it's a Makita screwdriver. Now, normally these little things come in a, come in a set, come in a box with a load of um, screwdriver bits and bits and bobs. And it's kind of like the Makita sort of DIY sort of tool. Not not a top end pro tool, but I got this off eBay. I've been looking at them online. I was thinking of getting one for the workshop so I didn't have to kind of use this big bulky item for taking tools apart. And I've seen other um, YouTube videos where people have got a, a little screwdriver for taking, um, the tool, taking the tools apart. So I thought, I'll keep an eye out, keep an eye out for one of these. And this came up. Um, 15 pounds, 15 pounds, and it doesn't work. I don't know what's wrong with it yet. On the list, I got it off eBay, and it just said not working. Um, so we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it apart and see what's wrong and see if we can fix it. Um, so, in regarding the box, check this out. Check this out. I got this for my missus today. I keep on borrowing her. Borrowing. She had, she had another set, sort of like a cheapy set, not Makita. And I kept on borrowing all the bits and then I lost half the bits by accident. So today I've got a new box. This was on offer. I think it was 25 quid or something, but um, the boss has paid for it. So look at that, what Bobby does there. So you've got um, some wood bits. I hope you can see this. Wood bits, um, steel bits and masonry bits and lots of screwdriver bits. And so oh, look, a oh, hang on. There's a couple of, where's that come from? Uh, in there. And then it's got some spade bits and a screwdriver, a Makita screwdriver. So she's chuffed to bits. I'm in the good books. But um, normally this little screwdriver comes in a set, a bit bigger box than this. And um, so this just came on its own, broken off eBay. So this tool here doesn't have a detachable battery. It has a battery pack in here and you actually charge it through this little... Um, charging port here it's kind of got a usb charger hang on so you plug a little um usb charger in let me just see if i can do it there like that and then you can plug that into whatever computer or something that'll take that sort of charge that or you could probably put it into a vehicle you, you know in a, in a front of a van or something but anyway that is a little rubber cover that goes on the back like that. And this bit here is actually the light. So we'll click that on and the light works. And now that could be good news actually because it shows that the battery is not knackered, I reckon. But um, you can either click the light to go fully on or just press it like that. And the on off switch for this, um, the for I mean forward and reverse, that's all it is, is a quite a simple screwdriver, is here. But obviously nothing works. So. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Well, it's not that fucking exciting, but anyway, we'll get it apart and see what it looks like inside. Right, that's um, four of the screws out. Yeah, presuming this one holds the two bits together. So I've got that one out and the, the clamshell here should um, split a little bit if I can get... Oh, hang on. The great reveal, if I can get it apart. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello. Fucking hell, am I lucky? I've, fucking hell, look at that. Can you see that? It's the spade connectors come off the motor. Bloody hell, do you reckon? Do you reckon it's that simple? Bloody hell. Tell you what we'll do straight off the bat. We'll get it connected back up again and see if it works. So we'll push that spade connector back on. We'll make sure that's back on, back in properly as soon as I figure out how to do it. Hang on. Yeah, that's back on properly. What we'll do is we'll just put this bit back on. Like that. And what do you reckon? You're going to make a bit of a wager whether it's going to work. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, heck, it's pretty slow. I think it needs charging up a bit, but it's working. What I'm going to do now is kind of strip this down totally. We'll get the thing to bits and give it a good clean out and see what it looks like all fully stripped down. So I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll see you in a minute. I'm stoked. Can't believe it. Stoked. Right, we've got it all to bits. Before, I, I forgot to tell you before that this little screwdriver is only a 3.6 volts. Um, so yeah, and it's it was made in 2016. So yeah, it's only got a tiny little motor in it. I'm, obviously I'm used to 18 volt and sometimes 36 volts. So this won't have a lot of grunt for, for maybe for taking tools apart or putting them back together, it might be okay. So this is the clamshell. You see this little metal bit here? Hang on. With the four like, sort of holes in it. That lines up. It's got this on both clamshells. I love this a bit of a, a feature with um, Makita tools when they do this. The Makita logo on the side here. Um, in the older, back in the day, they used to just um, that used to be um, sort of just blue, and they used to paint it. it. Used to be painted or sprayed the Makita bit, but this is actually molded. This is proper white molding. You can see it on the back here, where the molding comes through to the inside. So I know it's a bit daft. But I like it when the Makita th um, symbol doesn't rub off. So anyway, back to the way they've got these metal washers with the four holes. Right, this is the front end that goes onto the back end. And you can bend it like a screwdriver and you can have it 90 degrees. So in the bottom bit of the clamshell where the battery goes, you can see they've um, embedded two ball bearings. And there's two ball bearings in the other one there. Hang on a minute. There. And then that, what that means is you can have the screwdriver on various positions and the ball bearings click into them little holes there. Very clever. So that's all right. Now the front end has got like, um, a, hell, I think it's a planetary gearbox in the front end like that. You can see a bit DIY, the actual um, gears are plastic. Now I, I might dig into this a little bit more, but might not. I'm not I've had a little bit of result um, splitting like planetary gearboxes apart, but... If I'm not in the mood, and, and, if, and I, anyway, I might do it, but it's in pretty bloody good nick. Like I said, I'm hoping it was, well, yeah, there's going to be no more problems. Well, it runs, so I can't think there's going to be any more problems about, apart from the motor. These little, um, where it kind of goes onto the spade connectors, it's come off on one of them. So that was it, no power. Look at this tiny, tiny little motor. Isn't it sweet? Yeah, it's one of the motors where the brushes are embedded into it at the factory, so you can't do anything daft like replace the brushes. But I reckon you could get a um, replacement of that. But to be honest with you, I don't think you'd be able to put this tool under that much hammer that it would actually um, break the actual motor. I think more likely it'll, it would um, the battery would go or something on the circuit board. Now, as you know, as you know, I'm not a massive expert on fucking circuit boards, but that's the. <laughs> Hang on. That's the circuit board. We might take it out in a minute, and obviously that's the battery. And this little bit here is where th where you turn the light on. What I quite like about this little design here, it's um, it's got a little boot over with the switch for the light, and then this is the little cover for the USB connector or the charging connector in one. So I reckon it's got a maybe a tiny little bit. If you got it wet a little bit, it might it might be all right with this in properly. So that's a nice little feature. So usual things. Well, we're going to have a look at the switch in a minute, but it's got um, the power cables coming out and up to this, the offending spade connectors. We might have to try and sort of tighten them up in a minute. And that's the light there. So let's just get this bit split out. We'll have a look at, we'll have a quick look at the switch and then I'm going to give it a good clean out, clean out, clean up and get it back together. And this is going to be my new workshop screwdriver. You know what I fucking wish I had? I've seen these, some of the other channels where they, take, they look into the circuit boards and they try and fix electrical items and they have this um, alcohol stuff. It's like, um, comes in like a bottle, bottle looks a bit like um, methylated spirits and it's really good for cleaning places like this. You can see, if I kind of come in a little bit, you can see a little bit of corrosion, like it's got a little bit damp and when I tried to push the charger in before, it didn't want to go in really. Hang on, can I get to focus? No. Can I fuck? Maybe. Oh, maybe it will. Yeah, it's not that clever, this connector. 
but everything else seems fine. I'm fascinated by the switch. I can't really work out how it works. I expected it to be like um, some kind of micro switch on both sides, but it isn't. It all works from the middle. What I do also like is you can't if you're a bit heavy handed, you can't press the uh, the forward and reverse too hard because you see it hits this metal plate here. So that's clever. But am I going to take it to bits? I can't decide because I could take the fucking thing to bits and never get it back together again. And it's actually soldered onto the board. So you fucking know about my soldering. I don't want to have to replace the switch. But I might just try and take the top bit off and try and suss out how, just out of interest, how it all works before I put it all back together. Right, I think this is as far as I'm going to go with the switch. I don't take all this about, but it'll be a, I think it'll be fucked. Anyway, so what happens is, it's all about this little spindle. I'll just pull it a bit. I hope it focuses. Hang on, shit. See that? You can probably hear it. It just moves ever so slightly. Can you hear that? Hang on. Just ever. Just, I, know, I reckon about a quarter of a millimetre. Not even, maybe half a millimetre. Travel between on and off. And this bit, the shaft looks like it's made out of brass or something. Goes in that hole in there. So when this, it's like a rocker switch, I think. So when this goes back on and act of going like that, it just, when when that, because of that sat in the hole, it must just pull it over a little bit and turn, and just move that brass rod a little bit and turn it to forward or reverse. So anyway, that's about as far as I'm going to get into it, but I just wanted a quick peek um, at the switch. So another quite interesting thing is, for quite a sort of like a, a small tool, you wouldn't imagine, wouldn't imagine getting hot, and I might have got this, I might be getting this completely, completely wrong, but look at these two little black cables coming off here onto the side of the battery, the bit of sellotape. But it's got some of that sort of looks like it's heat, sort of heat proof silicon or something. It's gone off though, it's like silicon there. But I think this is some kind of temperature sensor. So if the battery overheats, it turns it down. But I can't imagine this bloody thing overheating at all. But um, I know I don't know fuck all about um, circuit boards. I've had a quick look. There's no scorch marks or anything like that. And it all looks in pretty good order and clean. So we're going to get it all back together and give it a test and see if if it's any good. It's, if it can only put in like a tiny, teeny little screw, no good. But if it's got a little bit of bump, we might be in luck here for the workshop. Okay. Right, we're all back together now. Oh, shit, I've got it mucky already. Anyway, so I think it looks a bit better. I've given it a bit of a scrub up. And it's fully operation and operational. But sounds a bit sounds a bit sketchy. Sounds a bit like a toy. And it doesn't well, I have got not a lot I've not got a lot of hope for it to be really powerful, so is it gonna be crap? Well, we're gonna give it a go. So I've got a bit of three screw, it's the three screw challenge. And I've got like a, what will that be, a three inch eight? If you're into fucking metric for screwing, well, don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's a two and a half inch ten. That's a three inch eight. And that looks like um, an inch eight or something like that. So we're going to try, obviously, the fucking smallest first and see if it can do it. I'm not quite sure how to fucking d steer this thing. It's a bit cack handed. Anyway, we'll give it a go. See if we can get this screwing. Might be an idea if I got the bloody. Now, that is a fucking. That looks like a, a PH1 or something. Anyway, we'll go straight to this. Fuck it, eh? It'll probably put the small one in, but will it put this one in? Fucking no, weird thing. Oh shit. Well, it's done it. Very, very fucking slowly. Take it out. Oops. User error, that's the fucking thing skipping out, not me not doing it properly. Right, let's try it through the both of them bits there, see what, if it'll do it. Fucking hell, it's exciting, isn't it? No, not really. 
So I'll try and use it like this. Hang on, let me get the fucking camera back a bit. There you are, fucking hell. Okay. Get into, getting into it now. My little screw, my new little screwdriver. So let's see if we can hold it like that and see if it'll do it. Fucking hell! Look at it, it's got quite a bit of grunt. Fucking hell, I've gone right through the bloody workbench. Ergonomically, I don't know whether I like it. It just doesn't feel right in the hand. If you're kind of using it like a screwdriver like that and you hold it onto the back, it just feels too far. For, I guess you were putting some short screws in. But anyway, let's see if we can get this two and a half inch 10 in. We might as well go straight into the thick bit for straight off. Oh shit, hang on. Might be an idea for fucking held onto it. Like I said, it's a cob thing. Tell you what, for a fact, that for a fact. Yes, well, it's fucking nice. It's got some fucking power. Bloody, I tell you. Bloody hell, that surprised me. Fucking screws red hot. But if you put a bit, a little bit, a little bit of candle wax on there, fucking flying, no problem. What a powerful little fucking machine. Jesus Christ, 3.6 volts. I can put, I'm gonna fucking tell you what, tell you what, Muckers, I'm gonna get, find an even bigger screw and try and put that in. What do you think about that? Fucking hell, this is turning into one of them bloody videos where you get them daft Americans driving these massive screws. And have you seen the ones so they, they drive the massive screws in with the, with the drills and then it starts smoking and then they go, oh, the drill's fucking shit because it's, fucking hell. A tool is for a specific size screw or fixing or drilling a specific size hole. If you get a drill and you drill a massive fuck off hole that's too big for the motor and it starts melting out, you can't say the fucking drill shit. Anyway, where was I? Anyway, we're going to try and get this, um, what, what, the, like a coach screw in? I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we'll fucking hell, we're going to give it a go. We'll go up in the middle first. Come on, you can do it, lad. Come on, lad, you can do it. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'd have never said that was going to do that. That is Im that is a fucking amazing. That, sh that shows you how good the Makita motors are. Well, if you're not impressed with that, you bloody should be. I know it wasn't a solid bit of wood. It wasn't like it was going through like a, a massive bit of an oak beam, but this is a 3.6 volt tool, a little tiny Makita screwdriver, and it's put in, well, I don't know what. Hey up, hang on. 
What will that be? What hang on, let me find out the length. That is a hundred and fifty mil. Sort of like a I think they call him, is it in the States, they call it like lag bolts or something like that. I've done a fixing box for roofing fixing box and it's put that in. Well, with not that much bother. Fucking hell, I'm impressed. There we go. My new Makita 6. Point, what is it? No, 3.6 volt screwdriver. And I didn't even need to charge it. I fixed it. I fixed the motor, just a spade connector. Got it all working. I'm chuffed to bits. Okay, thanks for watching. Random is rad. Rock on. Oh, thanks for watching. Subscribe or unsubscribe. Tell me you love me. Tell me you hate me. Tell the granny down the road with a wooden leg. But whatever you do, please get involved.